One of the most famous recipe in French cooking is the coq au vin, which is basically the rooster cooked in red wine. The first and most important step of this is to marinate the chicken overnight in red wine. So I've got basically carrots, celery, garlic, and onion. All right, in goes bay leaf and some thyme. And next is the chicken. So I'm getting chicken marylands. What I like to do is take the thigh bone out. So there's only one bone left after cooking. So all you need to do is follow with a sharp knife the thigh bone here, just on one side, pulling away at the same time. Turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. Then with the thumb and your finger, all you have to do is go behind this bone and push so you can go through and then free it with a knife. Scrape until you go to the joint and then all you do is put your knife through it and then taking the bones off. So all you get left with is basically a chicken leg without the thigh bone, which then suddenly just melts in your mouth. And all I'm gonna to do too is take the top of this one here and place with the vegetables. So what I'm gonna do now is pour some red wine over it. Don't get the best red wine you can. There's no point for it, but get something like Shiraz. Now the best obviously is to marinate this overnight. All right, that chicken has been marinated for a long time, kids. You're gonna see what it does to it. This is what I'm talking about. The tannin has basically got onto the skin, onto this flesh. And that when it's gonna cook, it's gonna get deeper in color as well. So now the traditional garnish or vegetable component, I would say, to a cocoa is pearl onions. It should get a sizzle. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of butter, which helps with the caramelization. I'm gonna add the bacon to this. Bacon, onions, again, marriage in heaven. All right, now I've got a bit of caramelization on the onions and uh, the bacon here. It smells really nice. I'm gonna add the mushrooms. This is about 12 onions, 12 mushrooms. Six. Another about three, four minutes just to caramelize those mushrooms. So I've got a beautiful caramelization on all the ingredients in here. So I'm gonna pull them out, leave the fat in, and then fry the chicken. So while this is nice and hot, I'm gonna fry the chicken legs skin side down. And then you need that searing noise for sure. Now don't touch this chicken. Leave it on the skin for about three to four minutes until it gets a beautiful dark color. What I'm gonna show you now, it's not actually burned. It's the combination of the marinade, the red wine, and the caramelization of the chicken. It looks pretty dark, but that's what you want. Okay, all I'm gonna do now is add those vegetables back into the pot. What I need to add now is a bit of thyme and bay leaf. And I'm gonna add a little bit of flour. So when I'm adding the liquid to it and it starts boiling together, it creates the sauce. And it wouldn't be a French recipe with a bit of flambé. So let's get some cognac. Woo! Here we go. What you do there, basically, is keep the flavor of the alcohol, but getting rid of the bitterness of the alcohol. And the following step is to add the red wine marinade into this, making sure that all the chicken and all the vegetables are submerged into that beautiful alcohol. You've got beautiful paper leads, but the paper keeps the chicken submerged in that sauce at all times. Bring it to boil, then reduce it to minimum, and cook it for an hour and a half to two hours. All right, the moment of truth. Are the French that good or what? There's only one English word I can think of, a yam. Let's go and fish one of those legs out. Look at this. So it's holding together, but if you push on it, 
it's cooked all the way through. I'm going to serve it with a bit of mashed potato that I made earlier on. Beautiful chicken leg over the top. Onions, mushrooms, bacon. And voila, my cocoa.